What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Sports Update Ghana. Coming up in this edition, Thomas Partey's Arsenal suffers a 4-1 defeat to Man City. And we're going to look out at Thomas Partey's performance in the game as well as how Andre Ayew performed in Nottingham Forest's victory over Brighton. Then we'll talk about Joseph Edu because Ghana's defender Joseph Edu was on target for Celta Vigo in their game against Elche in the Spanish La Liga. Before we get into that though, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. Let's start off from Spain where Joseph Edu scored the only goal in the match for Celta Vigo in their victory over Elche. The first half ended goalless between the two sides with none of the teams able to score well in the 90th minute joseph edu was able to break the deadlock in the match to score the only goal for celta vigo to carry the day the Ghanaian players goal was the all important goal that celta vigo needed to grab the three maximum points over elche who are placed 20th on the spanish la liga table celta vigo are currently 12 on the la liga table so let's check out how Joseph Edu performed overall for Celta Vigo in the match. Joseph Edu, the Black Stars defender, played 90 minutes of action. He scored one goal and had an expected goal ratio of 0.12%. Joseph Edu had an expected ratio of 1% in terms of assists. Well, in clearances, the Ghanaian defender was able to make five clearance in defense for Celta Vigo was involved in three tackles, four grounded duels and four aerial duels. He lost possession of the ball on seven occasions and had 69 touches on the ball. Joseph Edu had a passing accuracy of 91% and sent four long balls in the game, getting one shot on target and one shot off target and making one dribbling attempt. So that was how Joseph Edu performed in the game for Celta Vigo as he was rated 8.2 after scoring the only goal in the match between Celta Vigo versus Elche. Now let's travel all the way to England where Andre Ayew was involved in action for Nottingham Forest in their 3-1 victory over Brighton. Andre Ayew came on as a substitute in the second half when the match was 2-1 after Pascal and Danilo had gotten the two goals for Nottingham Forest in the game. Andre Ayew was introduced in the 80th minute before Morgan Gibbs White scored the third goal for Nottingham Forest in the match to get a 3-1 win over their opponents. How did Andre Ayew perform overall in the match for Nottingham Forest? Well, the Ghanaian player played 10 minutes of action. He had five touches on the ball and had a passing accuracy of 25%. He was involved in one area of grounded well and lost possession of the ball on three occasions. Andre Ayew was involved in one tackle and that was how he performed in general for Nottingham Forest in their 3-1 win over Brighton. Nottingham Forest are currently 17th on the Premier League table and they are just away from the relegation drop so that was how it ended for nottingham forest in their game against brighton but let's look at the biggest game that came off in england and that was arsenal versus man city at the etihad and it was pep galliola's men that punished Mikel Arteta's side by four goals to one as early as the seventh minute kevin de bruyne put city ahead then john stones made it 2-0 before half time. Later on in the second half, Kevin De Bruyne scored his second goal, which was Man City's third goal in the match in the 54th minute before Rob Holding was able to pull one back for Arsenal in the game. But Ellen Allen, the guy who is setting all the records, scored the final goal in the match to make it 4 1 for Man City as they trashed Arsenal by four goals to one in the match. Thomas Partey was involved in action and played the entire 90 minutes of the match. Well, let's look at how Thomas Partey performed in this particular encounter. Thomas Partey 
was a pale shadow of himself as Arsenal failed to glitter in the match. In fact, Thomas Partey had a clash with Jack Grealish, which has gotten many Ghanaians talking. But let's focus on Thomas Partey's performance in the game. Thomas Partey played 90 minutes of action in the match. He had 56 touches on the ball and had a passing accuracy of 95%. He sent one key pass in the game and sent three long balls and had one shot off target. Thomas Partey was able to complete two successful dribbles and was involved in 12 groundward dwells and one aerial dwell. He lost possession of the ball on six occasions and was able to foul three players in the match and unfortunately he was also fouled three times in the match. He made one clearance, two tackles and dribbled past one player. So that was how Thomas Partey performed in the match for Arsenal in their 4-1 defeat to Man City. As it stands now, Arsenal's chances of winning the Premier League title is currently very shaky as the only point that separates them between Arsenal and Man City is just two points and Man City have two outstanding games and if they are able to get those six points they will end up winning the Premier League title. So guys, that is the update on the performance of Ghanaian players abroad. So yes, that is it for this episode of Sports Update Ghana. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment.